What's up guys, this is Alex Tack from PR Tech Reviews and today I have a very special video for you too. Uh, I just received the copies of Windows 10, so this video is going to be the installation of Windows 10 as well as its first impression. So let's get started. Yesterday, I went out to Best Buy to buy a new SSD that is bigger than my current SSD. Currently, I have a Samsung 840 EVO uh, 250 gig SSD. I'm replacing it with this new PMY a CS1111 SSD with a 400 uh, with 480 gigabytes, as you can see right here. I've been running out of space out of my cur uh, current SSD, so I just decided to replace the old with the new. Uh, so. Uh, for prep, I'm going to take out my HDD from my CD drive. I'm using a CD drive caddy for two, uh, to have two hard drives on my computer instead of one, and replace this with the HDD. Now you might be asking, why, Alex, are you replacing it with the HDD? Isn't it like way harder? You're going to use this as your primary SSD, and you're going to take out the 240 gig, 50 gig SSD, and yeah. Well, here's the reason why. Uh, I still have Windows on my 250GB SSD right now, and it would be really, really hard for me to take out that SSD, replace it with this one, and then start from scratch by using a USB, plug it in, all that majagger. So what I'm doing is I'm plugging this one into my CD drive caddy, and I'll have my 240GB and my 500GB SSD. Um, with that, I'll be able to... Uh, install Windows directly onto this, then I'll replace the old SSD with the new SSD and then plug in my hard drive back in. So I'll get Windows 10, fresh install on my 480GB SSD and then I'll have a 250 uh, left over. So let's get to it. Right now I'm going to install my SSD into my CD drive Now it's time for the Windows 10 install. So what you do is you go down here, you click onto the Get Windows 10 button, and this screen should pop up. Now if it's downloading, it will say down. Uh, it'll be on this step. You should have already done your reservation, and if it's done downloading and it's ready for the upgrade, it'll say Upgrade right here. So it says here what to happen next, and then expect the 10-second prep. Review the license agreement and choose when to upgrade. So let's go. Run only as fast as I can, but my mind is free to celebrate universes in binary. Spend all day in the clouds and our definitions now. So hi, 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 we're not coming down. Ladies and gentlemen, leave the world and bring your friends. Step inside and close the door. Shut it out.
upgrading Windows, and the PC will restart several times, so uh, we're just going to sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay guys, so it's finally done. So you see this hi there, welcome back. That's me right there. So I'm going to click next and get going fast. Uh, uh, let's go through the custom settings so we can check to see what there is. Personalize your speech typing on... Sure, why not? Let's go next. Browser protection, smart screen, yes, because I'm a big supporter of the Windows um, malware protection system so I'm gonna just click next and yes I want photos edge all of that stuff next and finalizing my settings it's starting back up and there you go that's Windows 10 guys and I'm gonna sign in real quick and we will see what is brand new for Windows 10 Oh, okay, so now it's starting. Let's start. And we have our system right here. So as you can see, you got Spotify, NetBeans, all my stuff. You got all of my apps. Wow. All set up. It's rather pretty. Everything is similar. This is really cool. The new system is really nice. I got my stuff there. Pretty cool. And then we got task view. Now this is the new desktop system where you can name that uh, you got desktop one and desktop two that you can use. Uh, it's pretty cool for single computer uh, screens. Now, I'm not sure how useful it's going to be, but we'll have to see in the future. That is pretty nice. Now, this is Cortana. Hi, I'm Cortana. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, I'm not going to do that right now since I need to reset. Let's go into settings, and the first thing you would really need to do is go into your network and internet, uh, go to your Wi-Fi settings, and then go to uh, manage Wi-Fi settings. Now, you really do not want this here, so you don't want to. Sh I don't want to share any of my. Uh, my networks with my account uh, contacts for one reason this is a really really big security flaw someone can come to your house access your internet and then steal all of your stuff so I'm gonna opt out of that um, as well as um, connect to networks shared by my contacts actually you know what I'll leave that on uh, take advantage of stuff that my friends are not very smart at doing Other than that, it looks really cool and good. Here's my Fruit VPN login stuff. You got dial up Ethernet. It's a great system. It looks really cool. We finally got the all apps, all that majagger already and done. So you might be wondering, hey Alex, this is like your old system. And yes it is, and the way you do that. It, the way you reinstall Windows is you have to download it onto a USB flash drive or something like that and then from there uh, 
do uh, reinstall fresh. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to go to Windows 10 and I'm going to search up Windows 10 install. So we can go to Microsoft Windows 10 install uh, install and I will be linking down below where you can do this this is from make sure you do back up everything before you do a fresh install even before you uh, upgrade just in case everything is broken and uh, you go to download you read you can read the system requirements it's not that big a deal uh, but you download tool for 64-bit version make sure you have some sort of USB flash drive I have a SanDisk 16 gig it has to have at least 3 gigs of free space on there I recommend it to be clean so that you don't go into any problems so you just plug that guy in now create this system and you will be on your way after that make sure you do a fresh install like you would be normally installing Windows you can see tutorials um, of how you install Windows and I'll link one in the description a good one that I've used before uh, and then from there on you can just go and do what you want this is Alex Tack from PR Tech Reviews I hope you enjoyed the video if you like the video please like it if you dislike it you know what to do dislike it if you did like it please subscribe if you have any comments leave it in the comments any questions we'll try and get back to you and if you have any advice for our future videos as well as recommendations for what we should do please comment down below we do read our comments and we appreciate your feedback thank you very much this is Alex Tax signing out with new windows